randomly called, I would assume. Hey, it's Calvin Allen. What's up? Calvin, guess what we're doing today? Working on your issue. Because you're absolutely right. I have nothing out here to tell you what, uh, what you should do, what you should look at, where you should start, anything like that. Except the very, very basics, which I just copied and pasted from Microsoft. So I'm doing some planning today. So I started starting out by taking some notes so we can figure out what to, what to do. Because uh, if you've, you've expressed interest in contributing, so has Michael Jolly. Uh, he, just might, he just might be being polite, but uh, he's also expressed interest. Breakout Excel and Project. Well, maybe Excel, buddy, but uh, I don't even have Project, and uh, I don't even know how to use Project. Uh, it would, and for me, it would more likely be like a Kanban situation. It would be like uh, uh, Trello or uh, LeanKit, something like that. You know that's how I roll. Are you still using LeanKit uh, with, uh, with EasyRep? Every once in a while, I'd see like a huge flood of emails come in. And I was like, I really got to unsubscribe from those. <laughs> Delete database once async. Yeah, if it's open source, you can just use the, the projects and get it. Oh, is that something? Oh, look at this. Projects. Is that like a little Kanban deal? Well, look at that. That's probably what we're going to do. Good call there, Calvin. No man, I moved everything to Azure DevOps, including builds slash releases pipelines. Oh, so DevOps also has like the PM sort of thing with the with the cards or the tasks, etc. These are up to 100% Azure. Yep, good. Calvin says you could split those into multiple projects on GitHub too. So one project for low hanging fruit, and one for the dear God, this will suck fruit. Actually, not a bad idea. Because you could have a low-hanging fruit project, which would be great for first-time contributors. And dummies like me. And you have the other one where it's like, I need help with this one, please. Someone save me. Um, so that's not a bad idea. So let's, uh, let's go check this out. Let's check out projects here. On GitHub. So I can create multiple projects inside one repo. Let's call low-hanging fruit. This is where easy-ish tasks will go. These are tasks that have been estimated as relatively short, easy, estimated, scoped, I don't know, so short, easy. They are designed for uh, first time contributors or crap meeting, be right back. <laughs> oh, those darn meetings. Well, thanks for stopping by, Calvin. And uh, uh, if you stop back before, like, uh, what do I have to schedule? Three? Uh, 3.30? I'll still be here. It's first contributors or for... The busy developer, the busy open source developer on the go. Who is short on time. Pre-configured templates, basic Kanban, automated Kanban. Automated Kanban with reviews. Hmm. Oh, There's a basic Kanban for now. Okay, let's check this out. I guess this is turning into a GitHub uh, project stream. We're so excited that you've decided to create a new project. Now that you're here, let's make sure you know how to get the most out of GitHub projects. Create a project, check. These are individual tasks on a project. Give your project a name. Lying your fruit, check. What that purple line means. Oh, okay. You can press the plus key to see available keyboard shortcuts. I'm never going to remember these. Check. Add a new column. Um, 
I don't really want another new column, I don't think. But uh, yeah, this is kind of like a Trello sort of thing. Testing might be a good column, but uh, let's leave that for now. Drag and drop this card to the new column. Yeah, yeah, I just did that. Search for and add issues and or PRs to your project. I don't have any yet. Oh, well, I kind of do. I've got this one. Can we put this uh, into a project? Look at that. Cool, so we got projects, the hanging fruit. Okay, and where is it? I thought I signed it to uh, a waiting triage. Oh, is it like a triage area? Triage. Okay, that's weird. I'd rather see a triage column, something like an ice box, something like that. Okay, did, did that manage automation on columns? Now, what does that mean? Manage automation on columns. Choose a preset to enable progress tracking automation and better context sharing across your project. So, move pull requests, move issues here when reopened. Sure. Move pull requests here. When um, all of these, I guess that's all. That all sounds good. And the done manage automation. So if it's closed, merged. Yep, those are all good. Why not? To do newly added, reopened. Oh. Yeah, um, yeah, I like that one better over here. New added. Pull request here. One new added. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put everything there. That's good. So what does that leave here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and archive a card or archive all cards in a column. So we'll move this to done. Archive a card. Yeah, it's just a shish kebab menu. That makes sense. And archive. Cool. Okay. Now what else? We got cards. Can we add as a board to track the progress of issues of pull requests? You can also add note cards like this one. Okay, I don't need that anymore. Automation. Automatically move your cards to the right place based on the status and activity of your issues and pull requests. Okay, good. So if this is this is in progress right now, does it say that anywhere? Okay. Um, so let's, these are the raw notes, raw notes from Twitch. Thanks to Calvin. Suggestion. I'm creating GitHub projects to hold planning information. So I'm going to close that one. I'll leave the comment. So if I go back to the projects, uh, oh, it's in the done column now. That's very cool. All right. I'm putting project manager on my resume now. <laughs> okay. All right, so replace. <clears throat> I want to add a note. I want to add a kind of issue here directly. Convert to issue. Okay. Let's create some notes to start with. 
<clears throat> so really just replace and delete. Create these as well. Okay. So let's uh, convert this to an issue. Um, what was that file called? Couchbase client wrapper. Convert to issue. And I'm just going to I'm going to make this a little more generic. The create container star methods. And that is these right here. Unlike Cosmos, there is no concept of a container in Couchbase yet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, these can be left alone until Couchbase support for collections uh, comes probably later this year. Okay. Okay, so that's one. Convert this one to issue. So the delete database, Couchbase client wrapper, delete database star methods. Uh, Couchbase uh, has buckets instead of databases. Um, however, the Couchbase SDK already has support. I don't even know. However, the Couchbase SDK already has support for these operations. Um, they could be wrapped. Entity framework, but it is not a top priority right now. All right, delete item. Again, couch base client wrapper delete item methods. These methods should use the couchbase.net SDKs uh, bucket dot remove uh, can I make this syntax highlighted and or bucket dot remove async methods okay and then replace item we'll convert that to an issue couchbase client wrapper replace item methods and then these methods should use couchbase.net SDKs bucket dot remove and or bucket dot remove async methods all right so there's uh, four to-do items and if those get implemented then well, really just these two was the top priority. Um, I wonder if we can, is there a priority on these cards? Labels. I think it is like a low priority. I can create a, I can create one. So, what color do I want? Uh, light yellow, sure, that seems good. And, uh, okay, this one here, also, uh, let's see, labels, low priority. Cool. This is pretty neat. This is, uh, this Couchbase or GitHub project. It reminds me of, obviously, of uh, Trello, uh, certainly, but, uh, some of the some of the good things about LeanKit and um, 
Oh, Agile Zen in the old days. Yeah, I remember that one. And there's another one I used to use. I can't remember what it is, what it is called. But uh, also reminds me a bit of uh, of um, fog bugs with the Kanban plugin. So good, it's good. I like it. I like it. What else we got? Okay. So the other thing is in projects. I've got this one project here. Uh, we're going to call it the uh, the link, the link project. So this project uh, tracks all the tasks necessary to create a link provider within the EF Core 3 Couchbase provider. To ex link provider to execute nickel queries. Yeah, and we'll just do a basic Kanban for this one as well. Yep, and I already did all this stuff, so we can delete that. Delete that. I wonder if I can just make a copy of that one. Doesn't matter. Okay, automation. Let's start with the middle one for automation. I'm just going to kind of replicate what I did before. Check all these. Check all these. And then check all these because they're going to override the ones that I want. Yep. 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 Okay. <coughs> and so the only note I have left is I have, well, I have two notes that are probably related to this. It's the execute SQL query, which I mean that's just a huge effort. It needs to that that tech ticket basically just needs to be to scope it out into other tickets. And then the same thing with document enumerable and so on. Okay, so let's edit this one. No, I want to convert it to an issue. This is in the, what was the class called again? Couchbase client wrapper. The methods execute SQL query and execute SQL query async need to be implemented to support link in EF core uh, for couch bases nickel. This card is not to complete that work, but to uh, to do further analysis on uh, what needs to be uh, on for analysis on what needs to be done and to create um, a better create a better there's not even, there's not even one that, to be better to create a breakdown of remaining tasks to implement the link provider Okay, and when I convert this to issue, this is just going to be another investigation card, which that might be a good tag actually. Um, Couchbase client wrapper. Uh, this is couch a document enumerable or document async enumerable classes. Investigate what these classes are for. They are probably related to uh, number six and break down work into uh, tasks into um, and, and investigate breakdown and break down break down the work into their own cards issues. Okay, so I think what I want to do is I'm going to label this as investigate, investigate, investigate. These cards are, I keep saying cards, but uh, issues. These issues are not 
are typically going to have other issues as the deliverable, as their deliverable, and not usually PRs. And the color for that should be, I don't know, let's make a nice blue color. Yep, investigate. And for this one, we'll also make investigate. Okay, so we got all kinds of stuff going on here. So, so we've got two projects and those are both good. So let's go back to the, uh, the readme here. It might be a good idea to edit this. And uh, contributors guide. I'm not going to have much for contributors guide just yet, but uh, um, the remaining work is currently divided among two GitHub projects. The first project. is called low hanging fruit and these represent the uh, represent relatively easy slash small um, pieces of work that are <laughs> relatively represent relatively easy small isolated pieces of work that don't require, hmm, what's the work? Uh, so was, that, that's probably good enough. And we'll make that a link. Uh, I can never remember the link syntax for this, for, for Markdown. So put in brackets, square brackets, parentheses, something like that. The second project is called link. And it is strictly for tasks that are related to making the link. The EF Core 3 Couchbase link work. Um, if you see I probably should create a bugs project as well, but we're not even we're not even there yet. We're not even to the point where a bug. I mean, <laughs> it's it's like 100% bugs right now, so everything's a bug. Um, but if you if you see if you see or can describe some piece of work that needs to be added, please create an issue and assign it to. Uh, is it a sign is the correct thing to do? Like if I go to issues and I go to new issue, uh, yeah, projects, assign it to one of the above projects. Um, if you would like to or are already working on one of these issues, please leave a comment on the issue, on, on working on an issue, please leave a comment in the issue, uh, note that a comment is not considered to be a promise of delivery, so don't let someone else's comment deter you from also working on it, if you want to. 
All right. Added a bare bones contributors guide. Just the, the bare minimum to help a prospective contributor get started. I'm going to commit that directly to the... Yep, that's good. I didn't wash this thoroughly because water's kind of tasting like metal. Mmm. Delicious, delicious metal. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't need that anymore. So I've got something. I, I closed Calvin's issue. I think... Uh, where's Calvin's issue? I, I think I've done, done enough. Hey, Calvin, welcome back. How was your meeting? Okay, so I think we've made some pretty good progress on getting this thing organized a little bit today.